This is Rebecca. Over. Enrico! Hello! Can you read me? Please respond. Rebecca, I can hear you. Now listen up. Enrico Marini is one of the most capable men that Rebecca Chambers has contact with during the events of the game Resident Evil Zero. The leader of the Special Tactics and Rescue Services Bravo team, Enrico would be the second in command of the entire operation, and arguably the team's most skilled and respected operative overall. Thanks to his strength of mind, power of will, and formidable survival skills, it would be Enrico's Bravo team that would be sent in to investigate strange occurrences in the Arclay Mountains, a mission that would prove to be the most dangerous of his entire life. It began as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. The story of Enrico Marini as we know it begins with his career in the United States military. It would be here that Enrico would learn many of the tools that would carry him through his professional career. Survival skills, leadership, mental clarity in stressful situations, the military would teach Enrico it all, as well as provide him with the accolades to prove his prowess. With these skills, Enrico would be one of the first men approached to help establish a new branch of the Raccoon City Police Department in 1996. The Special Tactics and Rescue Service, or STARS for short, was interested in recruiting the impressive soldier as one of its inaugural members, the council creating it, even considering him to be an obvious choice as commander of the entire unit. Unfortunately, however, despite the impeccable resume that the military had provided him, there was one thing that Enrico lacked for the position. Connections. Thanks to the weight of the council's largest benefactor, the Umbrella Corporation, Enrico would ultimately be passed over as leader of the new department. Umbrella nominating a man named Albert Wesker, who would become the division's commander pushing Enrico into the position of STARS Vice Captain and Bravo Team Leader. Despite this minor downgrade in seniority though, Enrico would thrive in his assigned position, not only proving himself a capable leader of his team, but also becoming one of the most respected men on the force, a record that would inspire faith in Bravo when they would be sent into the Arclay Mountains on their most dangerous mission yet. Check the current position and investigate the surrounding area. <gasps> Captain, look! In the summer of 1998, several grisly murders in the Arclay Mountains had begun to stir up worry in neighboring Raccoon City. Orders would come down for an investigation into the crimes, and it would fall to Enrico's Bravo team to search the wilderness to see what they could find. Unfortunately, right off the bat, the mission would experience complications. While trying to get a bird's eye view of the area, engine failure would force the team to the ground, and after a brief search of the crash site, they would find the bodies of two military policemen in a prisoner transfer request for a man named Billy Cohen. This request would lead the team to the obvious conclusion that it was Cohen who had killed his escorts, with the potential that he'd been involved in the surrounding murders as well. This discovery would make Cohen's capture their top priority, and Enrico would instruct his team to split up in search of the dangerous fugitive. However, this manhunt would again not go quite as planned. Monsters and beasts in the woods would force the bulk of the units to take refuge in a nearby mansion, Enrico again instructing the survivors to split up and secure the immediate area. During his own investigation, he would discover the remains of an old subway system built to covertly transfer Umbrella employees between their Arclay Mountain facilities. It would be here that he would once again run into Rebecca Chambers, who'd been separated from the bulk of the unit since the crash site. Don't shoot! You're alive. Are you okay, Rebecca? Where is everybody? They should have arrived here before me. Haven't you seen them? 
That's unfortunate. If we go straight from here, we should arrive at an old mansion which Umbrella uses for research. Come on, let's go. After Enrico's short reunion with Rebecca, the two would again part ways, just as his investigation began to yield disturbing results. The Bravo team leader had discovered documentation incriminating Umbrella in their experiments at the laboratories of the Spencer Mansion, and worse, he'd seen evidence of a traitor amongst his own star's brothers and sisters. Such findings made him weary of his former comrades, and as he continued his mission for the truth, he would unfortunately be wounded in the underground caves beneath the estate. Enrico Marini is one of the most impressive and unfortunate men to step foot on the grounds of the Spencer Mansion estate. An incredibly talented survivalist with an equally impressive intellect, Enrico would be the first person to uncover the truth behind Umbrella's secretive misdeeds. A truth that would ultimately spell his death, not from the zombies or creatures that walked the corridors of the mansion, but from a supposed friend, the most dangerous and deadly kind of monster. Enrico! Don't come any closer, Chris. What happened? Double crosser. Enrico, wait. Enrico! Um, well. Uh... Enrico! 